Hey guys, it's Andrea. Do you want to see the world's easiest and fast um, cooking with me video? This is from Ch um, Dinner Affair. It's chicken pot pie. It comes like this already prepared. Some of their dishes do this. All of their dishes are super easy. They come frozen. You pack them up in the freezer. You pull them out when you're ready to cook them. This I was able to keep frozen. I'm going to bake it from frozen. It's chicken pot pie. Like I said, I'll show a picture of it right here and let you know that if you want to check out dinner affair i'll link them down below to sign up i have a code for 30 bucks off your first order i'll also sometime in the video pop up my original unboxing when i got this so you guys can learn more about dinner affair and how it works i absolutely love it i've got december's meals coming the very end of december and the menu is fabulous so, all we have to do with this, like I said, we're preheating the oven to 400. I'm going to bake it covered for one hour and 30 minutes. Then I'll uncover it and continue baking for 15 minutes. All the nutritional value is right here, as well as all the ingredients right here. The ingredients in this chicken pot pie are chicken breast, cream of chicken soup, peas, carrots, potatoes, puff pastry, chicken broth, salt, pepper, and rosemary. They literally make these in their chef kitchens, pack them up to freeze, and send them out. Um, I don't, the sides that came with this was rolls, and I've got that marked off, so apparently I probably cooked it with another meal. <laughs> so I won't be preparing any of their chef curated sides with this today. But I'll be back when I pull this out of the oven and we'll do a taste, y'all can see how pretty it is, and we'll do a taste test. BRB. All right, guys, we're at the hour and a half mark. So now, it's been an hour and a half for 400 degrees. Now we're gonna uncover it and continue to bake for 15 minutes or until crust is golden brown. There we go. There we go. Ta-da! Y'all, that smells so good. You don't even know. I'm gonna save this lid though, because that'll be good for leftovers. This this is a meal for three, it says. Alright, I'm gonna pop it back in for 30 minutes and then we'll be back to um, do a taste test. I mean, did I say 30 minutes? I meant 15 minutes. We're back in 15 minutes to do a taste test. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at that gourmet stuff right there. Look at the puff pastry. It's all puffed up <laughs> and browned nicely. Lord have mercy. This smells so good and looks so good. My mouth is watering. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait for a bit to try it because I'm sure it's like lava right now. As soon as it cools, we'll be plating it up. All right, guys, it's finally time to try this. When I cut into this crust, can you hear that? It definitely had a crack to it. It definitely puffed up nicely. Ooh, hear that. I hope that's coming through on the camera, on the video, that crunch. Hot. Mm. Really good, y'all. Really, really, really good. Let's see if you can see inside there. The only thing I would add is some salt. Not some. Stella's here. We just need hers too. I can't wait to finish mine. This is a huge serving I gave myself, by the way. <laughs> um, this is Stella's. It's about a fourth of it. This is like half of it. That's a fourth of it. And we have another serving Stella's size left. So I'd say it'd feed four, especially if you had a side salad or something. What do you guys think? What do you think, Stella? You like it? It's hot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Give me a thumbs up if y'all liked the video. <clears throat> Subscribe if you like to watch unboxings, and I'll see y'all at the next one.